Hey guys, welcome back to more political chatter. This 2024 election prediction is between Joe Biden and Ron DeSantis. My personal opinion, um, I think that this is the third most likely scenario to happen in 2024. I think the most likely is Trump v. Biden. Second most likely is Harris v. Trump. And I do think that Biden v. DeSantis will be the uh, the third most likely. So, sorry. So, Ron DeSantis is the governor of Florida. He is approved of there. And, um, I mean, the Trump wing of the Republican Party and, I mean, even some independents absolutely love this guy. Ron DeSantis, he's loved by all Trump Republicans. And I see a lot of Trump DeSantis flags a lot. Like, people want a Trump DeSantis ticket. The Trump and Republicans, that's the ticket that they want. Because, of course, they want to drop Mike Pence from the ticket. And, um... But what really is going to help Ron DeSantis is that he's going to be seen as much more acceptable than Donald Trump. Yet he still really encourages, he really still energizes and captures that Trump uh, kind of base. And there is a huge Trump base and he captures that and he only extends off of that. He is more acceptable to people. He's not seen as radical as Trump. His policy really is, but he's not seen as that. He doesn't, you know, flat out say uh, the crazy stuff that Trump does. So, let's get into this election prediction. So, Joe Biden is unpopular. Ron DeSantis is popular. So, you know, you kind of get how this is going to play out. So, but Biden will win California, Washington, Hawaii, Illinois, D.C., Maryland, Delaware, New York, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and Vermont safe. Likely states would be, um, or some likely states would be Oregon, New Jersey, uh, Connecticut, and Maine's first district, but these would be very close to becoming safe. Safe stage for DeSantis would be Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, North and South Dakota. Plus, Ron DeSantis does have a southern and rural appeal, which he'll help him, especially that rural appeal. That will make states like Kansas and Nebraska's first district safe in Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama. He does have a strong southern appeal, and I think that he would be able to win South Carolina solidly because that was likely for Trump. And, of course, goes like that. Um, and, I mean, he really will be a more acceptable version as Trump, as, as I said. And he, and because I do think that Iowa will be safe, Ohio, I think, would stay likely, but I think it would be very close to becoming safe. But he will be seen as another, uh, you know, someone who's working for jobs. Like, he wants Americans to have jobs, which will help him in the Rust Belt. I really think that that's how he will be seen. Going to his home state of Florida, I think that this would be safe. Um, you know, he's only approved of by about nine points. I heard here it's probably higher. That was just one poll. But um, but I think it would be safe because of the fact that minorities have been really falling out of the, um, of the Democratic Party. I mean, they are dropping in the Democratic Party by huge numbers. And really, that's going to hurt the Democrats in Nevada, in Arizona, in Texas, in New Mexico. It's really going to j destroy their campaigns here. And Florida is one of these states that, that uh, well, f and it's Ron DeSantis' home state, of course, and he's popular here, whatever. And Biden is extremely unpopular here. So with that, I think it would be safe. Sorry if you disagree. Going to Georgia, well, going to North Carolina, I think that this would be likely. Going to Texas, I think that this would be likely. Two southern states where Ron DeSantis will do very well. Um, in Texas, of course, Latinos are falling out of the Democratic Party. But ultimately, I do think that uh, that there are enough young voters to, um, you know, n not make this like um, a blowout. But I think that Ron DeSantis will win by wide margins here. Alaska will be safe. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Going down to Georgia, I think that this would be lean. DeSantis, just because it is shifting left, like, a lot in Atlanta, like, a lot shifting left, and, but still, you know, African Americans aren't, you know, so fond of Joe Biden that much, so DeSantis will win the state of Georgia by a lean margin. Going to Virginia, I think that this would go to Joe Biden by a lean margin, just because Ron DeSantis is too closely aligned with Donald Trump, I mean, they really don't like Trump, and they only elected Glenn Youngkin because of the fact that he wasn't aligned with Trump, but Ron DeSantis really, really is, and that will cost him in the state of Virginia, and Biden will be able to pull out a win. Going to Nebraska, second district, Ron DeSantis will take this back. He'll win it by a lean margin, one electoral vote there. Uh, going to Maine, second district, I think that this would be safe. A lot of, you know, more independent voters will be turning out for Ron DeSantis, and it will help him here. Uh, plus, he has a rural appeal, and again, he will win the state. That means that Maine at large would be lean for Joe Biden. I also think that state of Minnesota would be lean. Another, um, 
Uh, lean, yeah, I'll keep it lean. I mean, because of the fact that, um, sorry, it's because of the fact that there are too many Democrats in the state of Minnesota for it to go to Ron DeSantis. It still went to Hillary by a lean margin in 2016. Just that alone shows us that it really is not going to Ron DeSantis anytime soon. Going down to New Mexico and Colorado, I think that these would stay with Joe Biden. I think Colorado, uh, I think that both states would be lean actually because of the uh, minor, because of the his, uh, Latino problem with the Democratic Party. They're losing too many of them. So that will really cost them in the state of New Mexico. I do think that Biden will be able to pull out a win. But, I mean, going up to Colorado, there are a lot of independent progressives in Colorado. And they're going to stay home for Joe Biden. A lot of independents are not approving of Joe Biden right now. Some will turn out for Ron DeSantis, but not many. But ultimately, just them staying home will cost Biden. Going to Arizona and New Mexico, I mean, Arizona will be uh, lean for Ron DeSantis. It only lean, not likely, because it is shifting left. This was a Biden state in 2020. But he is more acceptable uh, version of Trump. And he didn't make uh, rude remarks about John McCain. So um, this state will go to Ron DeSantis. I think that Nevada will be uh, probably probably lean for Ron DeSantis. Uh, again, Latinos <coughs> not uh, turning out for the Democratic Party. But, I mean, just because he will do well in this entire Sun Belt, going from Nevada all the way to North Carolina, to Florida, to Texas, he's going to do well in this entire region. And Nevada is definitely one of those states. So, going up to New Hampshire, just because of the fact that they really did not like Trump, and um, eh, I'll give it to DeSantis, actually. I think that New Hampshire will go to Ron DeSantis by tilt margin. I think that this would be an extremely close race, but Biden is not getting popular any time soon. He is so unpopular and he is disapproved of in the state of New Hampshire and Ron DeSantis would be I, a great candidate for New Hampshire because it's a very moderate state and it's a generally conservative state. Ron DeSantis is conservative and he's not as uh, he's not seen as radical as Donald Trump. So I do think that state of New Hampshire would go till Ron DeSantis. Sorry if you disagree. And going to the blue wall, I mean really every state is going to Ron DeSantis, Wisconsin likely, Michigan lean, and Pennsylvania I also think would be likely. I mean more than a five point win here again he uh his thing will be bringing back jobs here and ultimately he will win by wide margins he is a powerful candidate and that's how i'll end this video so ron DeSantis wins with 317 electoral votes to joe biden's 221 this comes from an independent unbiased point of view so i really think that DeSantis will do well i personally don't even like DeSantis, and you know i'm making him win by this wide margins that just shows how unbiased i am yay so um we're done bye